soaps. So, uh, Cass, since John has decided not to be my best man, I, I really want to ask Jamie. I mean, he's responsible for saving Donna's life and giving me back my daughter. Well, that's, that's fine with me. I don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm sorry, Mac's still at the hospital. And Sam, any change? Well, Mac called early this morning, and Sam's still unconscious. They don't seem to know what's wrong with him. That's rough. Listen, um, Mac wanted me to give you this if you happen to stop by. Right, I think that this is what I asked for. Mr. Hudson, Mac's still at the hospital. I know how worried he is about the takeover. I was kind of hoping you had some good news. Well, I don't know about good news, but this is very interesting. You have a great sense of timing, kiddo. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have said anything. I... Sam is in the hospital, and you decide to tell us that you want to move out of the house? I want to live with my dad. Is that so terrible? You did I... just tell us, right? Well, I thought that maybe you could help convince me. Well, I'm sorry. You're worried about Sam, and I know you're... You know, when I called the hospital this morning, they said Sam was just the same. Well, I know it's not easy, but try not to worry, Loretta. I'm not. For some reason, when I when I woke up this morning, <laughs> I, I heaven only knows why, I, I just felt better, like like it's going to be okay. His blood pressure, it's okay. Oh, it's fine, dear. Thanks. You know, you've been here all night. You really should get some rest. No, I'm fine. Hmm. I'd rather not have to kick your tail out of here. Visiting hours are over. All right, in a minute. Mm -hmm. Diagnosis is quite correct. He's awake. <laughs> I can see that. Is he all right? I'm fine. Hey, who's the doctor here? Is he fine? After a few more tests, I think he definitely just might live, yeah. But see, I told you I'm fine. I agree. He is fine. I'll call Loretta and Mitch. Ah, oh, thanks. They'll be so glad to hear the good news. You gave us quite a scare, bud. I'm sorry. I sent this machinery here uh, quite crazy. Why, what happened? We had a grand mall seizure. But that's history now. Yeah, thank God. So tell me, how are you really feeling? Oh, great. Terrific. Thanks. Headaches? Yeah, just a little one. You know, the kind like you've been drinking for a week and played defense for the Bears right afterwards. <laughs> well, that headache may hang in there for a little while, but overall, you check out just fine. Great. How about 20 aspirins? We'll start you on, too. Now, you, young lady, I want you to get some rest. In a bit. Oh, she's been waiting so long for this, Jamie. Can't they spend a little time together? She's been waiting. Wait a second. How long was I out? <laughs> Too long. The baby. What about that He's little fine. kid, the boy? He's fine. Thanks to you. Just like they see in the movies. My hero. Chucks, ma'am. Twerk nothing. <laughs> Ow. I'll uh, have the nurse get you some aspirin. You'll feel better after a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Jamie. No, no, no. I'm serious. You're not going to be doing anything for at least two weeks. Wait a minute. I got to go back to work, man. Sam, you're not driving that cab for a long time. Well, how am I supposed to take care of my family? Sam, you must take care of yourself first. I'm sorry. And he's all right? Oh, I knew it. I, I just had a feeling. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you for calling. Mitch? Yes, that'll be fine. Oh, Sam woke up. He's all right. Oh, I told you I had a feeling. Us mothers always know. <laughs> Maybe I have some maternal instincts after all. Oh, Ada, I feel as though I have a weight just lifted off me. Mitch is coming down to take me to the hospital. I to am see him. really happy for you. You know what? What? While I have these maternal feelings, I have a few words to say to you. About what? About moving in with your father. Loretta. I know this is going to make me sound like a real grandmother, but do you know how good you have it? I mean, do you know how hard Mac and Rachel work at giving you what you want? Do you know how much they love you? Yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, a lot of kids don't have that. That's not something you throw away lightly. Well, Matthew doesn't mean to throw anything away. <laughs> You're on my side here? Matthew, there is no side here. You've got a big problem. Look, it's just that I can talk to Dad. You know, Mom and Mac, ugh, Did you know. ever try talking to them? Or do you just avoid it? Look, they get upset about of everything. Of course they I get say. upset about it because you're not leveling with them. Try talking to them before you pack a bag, okay? I don't want to hurt Mom or Mac. It's just... I don't know. I, I can't talk to them. Now, Mitch, I can talk to. You know something I never did? Face things squarely. I did a lot of running away. That doesn't solve anything. Yeah. Your mother is not a cream puff, Matthew. Try talking to her. She won't blow away. Okay. Oh, gosh. Other kids have grandmothers who bake them cookies. <laughs> Tell them how wonderful they are. Why did I have to get these two? <laughs> mm. Mm. Mrs. McKinnon? Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> Looks like you have an admirer. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Gee, I'd be happy if somebody liked me that much. Jason Frame, if these are from you, I am going to take these flowers and... Mrs. McKinnon, happy one-week anniversary. I'm glad we've stood the test of time, Vince. Oh, you dear, dear man. Oh. oh. Yes, come in. Oh, look at this. Here's my little sweetheart, just the person I'd rather see than anybody. Thank you. Come on, baby, come on. Baby. What's been going on? We've been going around to all our friends. Still not sure about this strange place. Ooh, well, of course not. Of course not. Has it been fun? Has he been having a good time? He's not very chatty. No, I know. I know, baby. Remember when we were talking about my little boy Ben earlier and how he didn't like to talk? Oh. Pardon? Oh, nothing, nothing. I just, I remembered something about one of my children. All those memories are just so very precious. Well, my little boy, Ben, didn't like to talk either. But he used to like to be tickled right about here. Get his head, get, get, get. No, I guess not. Okay, I guess we just need to give it a little more time, huh, baby? I'm not sure if we have the time. I just got a call from the secretary. He could be dismissed tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, we no, still haven't no, found his parents. Baby. Oh, baby, no. No. Mom? I, uh, I'm in here. Mom. I am so sorry. No, there's nothing to be sorry about. Uh, there's nothing wrong. I know you were upset when you saw that little boy and... No, no, I wasn't, Victoria. I just came back here to sit down and think for a while, that's all. It's all my fault. He was so adorable and so small... Victoria, and just I... stop it, please. Look, I don't want to talk about it, all right? Talk about what? What's going on? Meet Celeste. She sees what's happening in Salem before it happens. I don't know.
Oh, the killer is. Now, her latest prediction. Soapnet's got days of our lives. Your lust was my ticket in. Shut up. You're not just a hooker, you're a murderer, too. Days kicks off the hottest lineup in primetime. Days, All My Children, One Life, GH. Tonight at 7 on Soapnet. We'll have a big Easter sale. Just please, make him stop. Don't miss the final days of our big pre-Easter sale for great buy one, get the second free deals on any Hasbro, Milton Bradley, or Parker Brothers games, or select Barbie dolls priced at $19.99 or less at any basic five-pack of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Only at Toys R Us. Uh-oh. Want better allergy relief? Benadryl's proven more effective than the leading prescription allergy medicine at relieving your worst allergy symptoms, like runny nose, sneezing, itchy nose, and watery eyes. Benadryl. Proven more effective. We brought New Hidden Valley Spicy Ranch to the land of spicy. Me encanta este aderezo. Sabe sabor a chiles, chiles sabrosos y suaves, deliciosos. Y un poquito picante, como a mí me gusta. Es mero mero, es ranch verdadero. Se nota que rico, es espeso, cremoso, picoso. Cool Ranch with a little kick from Hidden Valley. Everyone has something to hide, and Ordinary Cosmetics can't cover every skin flaw. Get ready for the miracle camouflage makeup that covers it all, serious or small. Introducing Smart Cover. Hello, I'm Flory Roberts, the cover lady. And you can watch my age spots disappear in seconds with Smart Cover. Just look at the difference. And it's waterproof, smudge resistant, why you can even swim in it. Tattoos or scars vanish in seconds, and it conceals without caking. You can cover acne blemishes, bruises, sunspots, age spots, freckles, blotches, redness, rosacea, any imperfection at all. Smart Cover lasts until you take it off. When I apply Smart Cover to my birthmark, it's so easy and so natural looking, no one knows it's there. This is the best concealer I've ever used. Smart Cover has really changed my life. Everyone needs this. It works like magic for dark under eye circles. Now look at my legs. But I apply Smart Cover, and in 10 seconds, it looks like I put on a pair of pantyhose. My legs look 20 years younger. Believe me, no other concealer does this, and anyone can apply it. You could pay $30 for just one tube of concealer. Now you get three tubes of Smart Cover Concealing Cream to custom match your skin tone. It's a $45 value for just $19.95. Plus, as a special bonus, you get the Smart Cover Stick for quick spot touch-ups. Just toss it in your purse. Today is a free gift you get the vitamin beauty stick perfect for crow's feet and fine lines you get it all a 74 dollars value for an introductory price of only 19.95 if it doesn't do everything i say send it back but keep the vitamin stick just for trying smart cover look one more time what would you rather have this or this order smart cover now Call 1-800-804-8445 to order your Smart Cover Special for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-804-8445. Hey. Welcome Hello. home. Oh, oh, I am so glad you're back, huh? Well, I couldn't stay away from you for very long. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> so, how's things going? Oh, well, they're great now that you're back. Yeah? I want to hear all about your trip to New York. Yeah, huh? how's the Big Apple? Well, the Big Apple is cold and clear, just like oh, here. Oh, yeah? Well, were you able to help Mac out? I think so. These hostile takeovers are very complex, but uh, I think everything's going to be okay. Now, how's Sam? Um, uh, we, we really haven't seen any change. Or uh, We were at the hospital today, but... A change. Well, I remember when uh, we were waiting at the hospital for you to open your eyes. And I did, and so will Sam. I think so. Yeah. So, what else did you guys do while I was away? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Um, oh, not much. Are you kidding? Hmm. I mean, he was only changing the fate of major corporations. Now, we were doing the very important stuff. Ah. Like what? Like what? Like wedding plans. Oh. <laughs> of course, of course, wedding plans. Michael, you shouldn't laugh. I mean, no. Victoria and I really had our nose to the grindstone well, yes, here. We had, we had to look at wedding dresses, and we had to uh, make the guest list, and, of course, the all-popular issue of who's going to be the best man. Ah, oh, yes. What are we going to do about that? Hmm? Why don't you ask Victoria? <sighs> Am I missing something here? Something? No. No, you're not missing anything. Listen, you know, I'm going to go tell Bridget that you're back. She'll be glad to know. Victoria, what is wrong? 
Ted, this is all my fault. Doesn't he look wonderful? For someone with a world-class headache, he's fine. Uh, but couldn't they do more for him? It's not a lot that they can do now, Mom. It's just going to take us uh, some time. I wish I was one of those mothers who, who knew a lot of home remedies. <laughs> I'd make him a poultice or something. I think it's a little too late for that stuff. You'd be surprised, Mitchell Blake. Yes, ma'am. It's more like it. Amanda looks so tired. You suppose I could persuade her to let me sit with Sam for a while? Mom, she's been waiting on this for days. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're right. <sighs> now, where did Matthew go? He's in the cafeteria. Since boarding school, he says he's been hooked on institutional food. <laughs> that son of yours is quite a charmer. He's a good kid. Has he ever told you that he's unhappy at Mac and Rachel's? Mom. Well, he told me. I just don't understand it. What's to understand? He's a teenager. Mac and Rachel are in a position to give him anything he wants. I, I mean, he'd be a fool to throw all that out. To, to what? To live with me? Well, don't you want him to stay at Mac and Rachel? You know what I want? I want the kid to go through a normal teenage rebellion without your jumping in and screwing things up. Well, I, I'd never do that. I mean it. I want you to stay out of it. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> we've had a rough couple days, huh? Oh, I've been so worried about Amanda. And about Sam. And about Sam and about you. Mom. Where do kids learn to say mom like that? Why, how did you say it? Me? Mm -hmm. Mom. <laughs> we'll have to try that sometime, Mom. <laughs> what did you want to talk to me about? Moving out. There. What do you want me to help Hi, you with, Donna? Uh, well, right now I was you just know I, I can play some hymns. I can uh, uh, scrub floors. I'll do anything you want, huh? What is it? What's wrong? Nothing. Michael's just came back from New York. So that's the reason you decided to come over here and help me scrub Listen, floors. Listen, our Cass isn't upset about this best man thing, is he? Well, actually, you know, he, he, he would have liked to stand up with you and Michael, but he certainly understands. Yeah, you know, I, I really I really don't understand why Michael uh, chose our wedding to bury the hatchet with John, you know? I mean, after everything that's happened. Well, I thought Michael talked to him again. Oh, well, uh, he, yes, he, he did. Um, actually, I talked to John first. I mean, because I was feeling uncomfortable about it. And uh, to find out, John was feeling uncomfortable about it, too. So here we are. We don't even have a best man now. Well, I guess, of course, we could, uh, we could use Jamie, uh, but he, what's he a best man at anything for? I, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's a good doctor or something. I don't know. I, well, at least Victoria seems to think that. Oh, and that. I don't even want to think about that at all. I, Donna. What? Why are you, why are you so angry I'm at everyone? Angry? I'm not angry. Well, you've been ranting since you walked in the door. Oh, great. Oh, great. I get this from you, too. Thank you. Very Donna much. Love Hudson, you come back here this minute and you tell me what's wrong. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. What? What is it? It's a little boy. What little boy? I, uh... I really thought that... that I was getting over losing the baby. Well, what happened? I was at the hospital with Victoria today, and, uh... There's this little boy there. He's about two. Was he real sick? No. No, he was just kind of shaken up a bit, but you see, they can't locate his parents. Oh, no, that's awful. I know, and I was just standing there looking at him, and I... I realized how alone he was. And it made me think about... my baby. How I never get to see him walk, or... or smile. I'm, so, I'm oh, no, sorry. No, 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 don't be sorry. You know, I, uh, I just couldn't even tell this to Michael. I didn't want to put him through it. In fact, uh, I just kind of ran out of the suite. He doesn't even know that I'm, I'm gone. I, I really should get back. Oh, no, 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 don't go. Nicole. But, no, but no, please, look, I, I don't want to dump all you. this on you. No, you I, don't. Yes, you don't I need do. me. Oh, yes, I do. I was just going to call you. Now, come here. I want to show you something. 
Here, Nicole, see, please. No, no, look at this. Now, I was just working on the dresses, you know, for the wedding. And, and Nicole, no, 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 I, I can't. I, I, I don't even, I don't want to even think about that. No, 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 Donna, please, please, come here. Why don't you just look at the sketch and tell me if you have Nicole, any ideas. Nicole, please oh, don't. Come on, please. Here, just take a look. It's serving up another world on Saturdays. Wet your appetite with this week's episodes of Another World. Saturday starting at 1. Soap Net. Pure Soap 24 7. Hey, LeBron. Oh, what up, Thurs? Brother, how about a toy, your new crib? Oh, come on in. This is my bedroom? Right, right. King size water bed. Game room. Plasma screen, blah, blah, blah. And this is the kitchen. Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't. Crisp, clean, ice cold, lemon, lime, sprite. Oh, is that your fingertips? Check it out. Right? It's just so beautiful. Show her my motto. Can a brother get a minute? This spring, color that fits at Sears. are on sale, so hurry in. Sears, good life, great price. If you're paying too much for health insurance without getting the benefits you need, or you haven't got health insurance at all, listen. You could be getting better benefits for a lot less than you think through eHealth.com. eHealth.com is the fastest, easiest way for individuals, families, and small businesses to shop, Compare and save on quality health insurance. Just go to eHealth.com and get instant quotes from leading health insurance companies so you can compare plans, prices, and benefits side by side. Even apply online for the plan that's right for you, one that fits your budget and your health needs. eHealth.com has already helped hundreds of thousands of people get the quality health insurance they need. How about you? eHealth.com, the quickest, easiest way to find quality, affordable health insurance. Go to eHealth.com today. You could save hundreds of dollars a year. That's eHealth.com. Playing this month on Dish On Demand Pay-Per-View. I bought a house for a life I don't even have. Why did you do it then? I'm sick of being afraid all the time. Under the Tuscan Sun. <laughs> Lost in Translation. Intolerable cruelty. Take a break from routine TV. Order a pay-per-view movie from Dish On Demand. Dr. Greg Sinamone, and no offense to casual dieters, but if you only want to lose 5 to 10 pounds, then Cortislim is not for you. Cortislim is the weight loss capsules created by my associate, Dr. Talbot, for people who are disgusted with diets and quickly want to lose 15 pounds or more. Dr. Talbot's hormone research has been featured in Ladies Home Journal, Psychology Today, and Red Book. The conclusion? It's not your fault that you're overweight. Stress causes you to overproduce a fat-retaining hormone called cortisol, and it directs fat to be stored in cells around your tummy, thighs, and stomach. Non-prescription Cortislim controls cortisol, so you release those excess pounds. And Cortislim stifles your appetite while enhancing your metabolism so you eat less as you burn calories and shed inches. Drop 15 to 50 pounds with Cortislim. Call 1-800-738-1009. That's 1-800-738-1009. Call 1-800-738-1009. I'm just saying you have a great sense of timing. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me. I mean, did it ever occur to you that, you know, maybe you could just start easing into it without suddenly unloading the idea to her? Yeah, well, everyone was so happy about Sam, I just what, figured you... You just be... thought that she would be thrilled to hear that you were moving out? What is this? Do you have my sense of tact? Yo, a sense of tact isn't all that great. I mean, I feel it's more important to be honest. Don't try and pull that with me. <laughs> Look, everyone is getting on my case here. <laughs> well, then that should clue you into something. I guess we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, yeah. You guys want me to, uh, wait somewhere else? No. Don't you think you ought to be in on this conversation? Yeah, but I just thought you two would like to talk alone. Yeah. About you. 
Yeah. Matthew, Sam just regained consciousness. It's been a real trying couple of days, and on top of that, Mac is going through a really serious business problem. Now, if you were contemplating this really seriously, don't you think it would have been a good idea to wait a little while? Please. I mean, he's just thinking of himself, and I'm getting tired of it. Please. And I'm not going to stand around here and, and get ganged up on by you two. Look, you haven't given me a break since I've been home you here. You haven't told me why it is you had to come home. Because I'm not perfect, all right? Because... Because I'm not like you, I'm not like Mac or Jamie or Amanda. Or both of you, just calm down. I don't believe this. I'm not giving up, Mom. Fine. And you can't make me live with you if I don't want to. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do. It's just that he's two years old and nobody has even called the hospital to find out how he's doing. No one? No, I, I just couldn't believe it when I heard about it. Hmm. Kind of reminded you of yourself, huh? A little bit. And I thought I would maybe be able to relate to him. Maybe he would open up. But he didn't, and I just didn't realize how it would affect Mom. A little boy. Yeah. We were talking about it over here before. Actually, no, I was talking about it, and Mom won't. Oh. That's what's going on with your mom. Vicky, when I was in New York, uh, it seemed like every time I'd step out on the street, I would see parents with little babies. One time I took a walk down Fifth Avenue and I saw this guy walk by me. He had this little boy on his back and his son had his arms around his neck and they just looked like they were having the greatest time. I'm sorry, Dad. No, no, it's, it's really okay. See, there's nothing you can do about the way that Donna and I feel, right? It's just that, uh, it's gonna be hard on your mom for a while, but she'll get over it. It's gonna be hard on me for a while, but I'll get over it. But for the time being, <laughs> it's just rough. Are you upset with me because I put mom in that situation? No, honey, I couldn't be upset at you. I am a little concerned, though, about your mom's reticence to discuss it with me, though. Well, you know, um, you should call Mary. She was talking to Mary earlier today. Well, I'm not going to go running to Mary every time something happens. Uh, I can't believe you're saying this. I can't believe I said that either. Okay. Well, Sam is really okay now. Oh, what a relief. But did you notice how tired Amanda looked? Well, she can get some rest now. As she went through this ordeal, a part of me kept thinking, she's still such a baby. Another part of you kept thinking how grown up she is. <laughs> you too, huh? Yeah, well, she is a wife now. While I was watching her, I could really see it. Me too. But how, how is she going to handle all this? With our help, that's how. But they're so proud, Sam and Amanda. Nobody is too proud for a little chicken soup <laughs> and an occasional visit. Yes, but I don't want to do it piecemeal, Ada. I want Sam and Amanda to move in the house with us. Mac. At least until he recovers. Mac, I know how much you would love that. We all would. It would be so good for them. Are you sure? And so much easier. Amanda simply cannot handle all this alone. Pregnant women have taken care of people before. And Sam is not helpless. Well, all of it is just driving me crazy with worry. Mac. Hmm? What? Be cool. Well, I didn't expect you to be flip about I'm it. I'm not being flip about it. Amanda will be okay. And Matthew will be okay. And you will always be there to bail them out if they need it. And if they need it, they'll ask for it. Well, I hope you're right. So do I. And now, I'm late for my appointment with Cass. Well, you go ahead. I'll stand watch for you. Thank you, darling. So long. Hey, Grandma. Where's your mother? Just... 
taking a walk around the building. Why? I took your advice, Grandma. I really did. I really he told to... her that he wants to move in to live with me. He told her here at the hospital now. There's that perfect timing again. Yeah. Maybe you could talk to her for me, you know. Matthew, get grow up. You're watching Another World. It's every woman for herself. Dynasty is next. Only on Soapnet. With me, baby. Over here, with the heat, shake your hair. Been around. Lock my star. Intense cheesy taste, tender macaroni in three and a half minutes of me time. The big cheesy taste of Kraft Easy Mac. Snack the Mac. Family barbecue pollen? Yeah, Ragweed, watch how fast their allergy medicines stop working. His Benadryl allergy only lasted six hours. Same with her Tylenol severe allergy. His Allegro 180 is still working. It lasts four times longer. One dose of most seasonal allergy medicines doesn't work as long as you want. But just one Allegro 180 lasts up to four times longer than most OTC allergy medicines. His Allegro 180's worked all day. For people 12 and over, side effects are low and may include headache, cold, or backache. Allegro 180 works all night, too. Long-lasting Allegra. The relief goes on. When is a diet pill worth $153 a bottle? When you're more than 20 pounds overweight and tired of wasting money on one ordinary diet pill after another. And every diet plan has failed. Now there's Leptoprin. Specifically developed for the significantly overweight, backed by two United States patents, two published clinical trials, and an ironclad 100% money-back guarantee. Leptoprin is simply the most powerful, clinically proven weight control compound available, period. I've gone from 203 pounds down to 153 pounds. I went from a size 18 down to a size 7 dress. If you had told me that I would have dropped 50 pounds, I would never have believed it. And now look at me. If you're one of those people who constantly worry about five or six vanity pounds, Leptoprin is not for you. Leptoprin is much too expensive and much too powerful for the casual dieter. But if you're one of the millions of Americans who are 20, 30, 50 pounds or more overweight, you need Leptoprin. You don't have to be fat. Eight months ago, I wore these pants at 404 pounds. I've lost 147 pounds. I'm actually gonna frame these pants and put them on my wall. I am. I'm currently down to 175. My husband was floored. He was amazed. So if you're significantly overweight, there's only one weight control compound developed specifically for you. It's Leptoprin. Leptoprin is guaranteed to work for you or it costs you absolutely nothing. So when is a diet pill worth $153 a bottle? When it works really works. Call toll-free 1-800-380-6113 to order your risk-free supply of leptoprin. That's 1-800-380-6113 right now. It's like you're a new person. It's been an amazing journey. It works. So, with the Articles of Incorporation subject to a court interpretation... I'm sorry, would you say that again? Mac, do you want to do this another time? I don't have another time. I'm sorry, Cass. I'm just so on edge. I understand. This is hard enough as it is without personal concerns. Right. Well, I'll manage. Now, you were going to tell me about the timetable. Well, even after the wait for the judge's ruling, this is a long, slow process, Mac. It's also very costly, and the next couple of weeks are absolutely critical. Grand. Just grand. Oh, the next two weeks aren't too good for you, huh? No. I'm sorry. No levity. Uh, the one thing that I did stumble over uh, that I thought was very interesting is the nature of the corporation that's trying to take you over. 
Bennett Publishing. Yes, I know all about them. Do you really? Are you sure? Because I'm coming across some things. Uh, there's something going on here. Perhaps a, a cover-up. Meaning? Well, I'm not at all sure that we know who we're dealing with here. Do you mean... Let me just work on it. I like mysteries. Work on it? Does that mean you're staying on the case? Well, let me check with Nicole first and see if I can free up some time. But you said yourself it's going to be a long process. I know. But I find this intriguing. Oh, I also find it potentially very profitable. Hi. Hi, Mary. I want to thank you for seeing me. Well, it sounded so important. Mary, Donna is really upset and she won't talk to me about it. Do you know why she's upset? Well, I have an idea. She said she was here and she saw a, a, a little boy earlier. Yeah, she did. Well, look, I can understand her being upset. It's just I don't understand why she won't talk to me about it. I thought we were all past that. Oh, Michael, these things sometimes don't clear up overnight. But why won't she discuss it with me, Mary? Oh, wait a minute. Hello, uh, come in. Oh, I have someone here. I'm sorry. It's just he wouldn't eat. I thought... You okay, should... all right. If you'll wait outside with him, I'll be out as soon as I can. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a sec. That's, that, that's okay. Looks like he got a little bruise on his chin there. Yeah. I wonder how the other guy made out here. <laughs> so, seems to be a man of few words. Oh, he's like that with everyone, Michael. Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, oh, hi. well, Michael, <laughs> would you like to, uh, come here for a sec. Come here, stand with me. Oh, here God. we go. Well, what a big fella here. You want a little milk? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> well, I think we should have a look here. Try that? I'll bring him back to you later. <laughs> so, is this the, uh, is this the little guy that Donna saw? Yes. And uh, you seem to be the first one that he has taken to. Well, that's because uh, it seems we both have the same name here. Well, <laughs> you know, we'd love to know your last name, too. Could you tell us? Oh, no, he seems to want it to buy. Yes. Well, I guess we take it one step at a time. Yeah. Well, I, I, I can see why Donna was so upset. I mean, uh, we would have loved to have a little boy like this. Who wouldn't, huh? Boo-boo. Oh, a boo-boo, yeah. Evidently not his parents. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Here you go. Well, we have been looking for them. We, uh, with the hospital, the police, Scott, everybody. Nobody's called in, nobody's asked about it, and nobody seems to care. Well, I care. And I'll tell you this, Michael. If I had a little kid that looked like you, I wouldn't let you out of my sight. Okay, now, chapter one, for the 86th time. Rachel, hi. Hi, am I interrupting? No, 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 of course not. Come on in. Huh? Good news about Sam. Isn't yes, it? we're all so relieved. Yes. Oh. Why do you look so unhappy? I am interrupting. No, no, no. Um, actually, that's a letter to my Aunt Hattie. It's taken me weeks to write it. Come on. Yeah. I'm talk. sorry. I didn't even think. I just got in the car and came over here. What is it? Uh, Matthew. He just sprung something on me at the hospital just now. He wants to move in with you and Mitch. I told you that. Did you he? knew about this? Well, not exactly. Would, but you did talk to him. Yes, but uh, you knew about that, remember? You, you're the one who drove him over here. He wants to move in here with you and Mitch because he thinks he can't talk to me. Can he? Of course he can talk to me. The point is, is he won't. That's what's important. I'm afraid I don't understand. You sound just like Matthew. He doesn't think I understand him either. I understand just fine. He doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't want to talk to Mitch. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. Well, you think maybe he might open up a little more with Mitch? I mean, you know, sort of that man-to-man -man thing. Matthew will talk when he's good and ready to talk. You know, I get the sense that you want something from me. I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm just not sure what it is. Okay. 
I know, Mitch. Yes, I know. I could see his mind working. He thinks, I think, that he's going to have a chance now to make a breakthrough with Matthew and make up for all those years he wasn't with him. Well, I mean, that, that could happen, couldn't it? Felicia, I have brought up three children. I have gotten two of them through these teenage years. I don't know how. And with Jamie, it practically killed me. But the experience with Jamie, as well as Amanda, has shown me one very important thing. Compassion isn't enough. Children need strong discipline and a strong sense of guidance. I I'm sure that Mitch knows that. I'm not. Let me ask you something. You think that maybe this anger that you're feeling at Matthew right now, you think maybe you're taking it out on Mitch? What is that supposed to mean? Never mind. Hey, why don't I get no, us no, some no, coffee? Wait a Come minute. on. Tell me what it is you, you meant by that. All right. It's just, and I want you to know that I understand this. I mean, I really do understand it. I'm thinking maybe you might be feeling a little threatened. Of course I'm feeling threatened, Felicia. Who wouldn't feel threatened? But that's not the point here. The issue is Matthew. I want to help him. I want to help him the best way we can. Yes, but so does Mitch. All right, fine. Then Mitch has got to be realistic about this. I really don't care who helps Matthew, as long as Matthew understands one very important thing. He's got to be honest with people, whether or not he thinks that they will understand him. And there's no question. I do think... I do think that Mac and I are in a better position to handle Matthew right now. So what you'd like me to do is to help convince Mitch to make his decision in your favor, right? Okay, why does that sound so negative when it's coming from you? Rachel, come on. Honey, you've got me in the middle here, and I, believe me, don't want to be here. Matthew is your child with Mitch. I really believe that the two of you are the ones that need to work this out, not me. Starting tonight on ABC, you've never seen a bachelor like this. Hello, ladies. New York Giants quarterback Jesse Palmer is making a play for these 25 ladies, but this time it's a whole new game because one of the girls is his spy. For the first time ever, one girl will tell the bachelor everything, all the details, all the drama, all the dirt. The Bachelor, two-hour season premiere tonight on ABC. Are you tired of that hassle of peeling for what seems to be hours whenever you want to enjoy delicious, high-protein eggs? Peeling is such a pain, and what a mess. There has to be a better way to peel eggs without the hassle. Well, now there is. Introducing the Extractor, the most amazing new patented invention that will change the way you and your family eat eggs for good. The Extractor peels hard-boiled eggs instantly and perfectly every time. Make mouth-watering deviled eggs, egg salad, apple egg delight, egg trifle, and much more. Peel eggs instantly in just three easy steps. Just tap the top of the egg, place vertically over the specially designed extracting hole, cover with the peeling bellow, and press down. Voila! A perfectly peeled egg every time. Add great tasting protein to all your favorite foods quickly and easily. The magic behind the extractor is pure science. Look, at the tip of every egg, there is a small chamber of air called the air cell. Inside the extractor, pressure forces the air from the cell and causes the shell to separate from the egg. The egg pops out perfectly deshelled every time. In fact, the extractor peels eggs ten times faster than peeling by hand. Discover how many delicious meals you can enjoy when peeling eggs is a snap. And the extractor is so easy. Watch your kids have fun decorating eggs and then peeling them for a delicious, healthy snack. Don't spend another minute peeling until your fingers are raw. Call now and you'll get the patented extractor for just $19.99. You'll also receive the Extractor 101 Egg Recipe Booklet, filled with delicious high-protein egg dishes your family will love. You never knew eggs could taste this great. But that's not all. We'll also include this handy egg slicer, a $10 value free. Easily slice a whole egg or use it for kiwis, strawberries, and much more. But wait, call in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your order. That's right, you'll get two extractors and two egg slicers and the 101 Egg Recipes booklet. That's a $60 value, all for just $19.99. Enjoy delicious high-protein eggs as often as you want with the extractor. Call now. Call now to order the amazing extractor. Remember, with this exclusive television offer, we'll double your order. That's two extractors and two deluxe egg slicers for only $19.99. Plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-579-3113. You should say this. This is for me, Mom. It's something you've always wanted. 
It's your report card. I thought you'd like it. This moment brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center. I spent hours doing homework. Then I got help from Sylvan. We call our approach the Sylvan Advantage. It's a proven process that works. We begin by identifying your child's specific needs, followed by individual attention and personalized lesson plans from highly trained and certified teachers who just love teaching. And progress reports for you every step of the way. If your child is struggling or just not being challenged enough, call Sylvan at 1-800-EDUCATE. Now, homework's no problem. Call this number today. The skills to do better in school, the confidence to do better in everything else. Sylvan. Learning feels good. If you, like me, are diabetic, I have some great news for you. Medicare will now pay for your diabetic supplies, and you can get them faster and easier than ever before. Preferred Rx is all about saving you time, money, and hassles. We'll take care of everything, even filing your Medicare claims and shipping. And our certified diabetes educator is available to answer your questions. Give us a call. I know you'll be glad you did. Preferred Rx will ship your diabetic supplies directly to your home with no upfront costs. Call today. Okay, partner. Here you go. Want to wave bye-bye, Mikey? Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 It's hard to say goodbye, huh? Mary, what, what kind of animal would abandon a child like that? Well, we don't know that that's what happened. Come on, Mary, I would have broken every speed record with two broken legs to make it to the hospital. I mean, what a great kid. Yes, he is. And you had a pretty strong response to him, didn't you? <sighs> what to uh... What's the procedure? I mean, what happens now to him? He becomes a ward of the state, and he goes into foster care. <clears throat> Mary, what if someone wants him? Oh, Michael, wait a minute. Why, Mary? Because I know what you're thinking, and I know that Donna doesn't necessarily feel the same way. Mary, it upset her to see the child like it upsets her now to see all children. It reminds her that she can't have any. A totally appropriate response. Well, I understand that, but what if that child could be ours? It would be wonderful if it were possible, but Donna would have to feel the same way that you do, and she doesn't. But, Mary, Donna has so much love she can give a child. I, I just can't sit here and watch it go to waste. Accepting adopting a child, that whole idea, means accepting the fact that you can't have any more children. And it also means accepting the death of your baby. I guess that's what we have to do, isn't it? Yes. And I'm not sure that Donna is ready yet. You just may need to give her more time, Michael. I know you're right, Mary. But what do we do in the meantime? I am sorry, Rachel. No, you're right. I do. I need to talk to Mitch. I just don't think I can face it right now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hi. I, uh, I thought you were... Yeah, well, right. I came over here. I'm, I'm on my way back to the hospital. Is Matthew still there? Uh, he was when I left. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I'll talk to you. Did she tell you what Matthew wants? Yes. And she'd like me to back her up. You know, moving in with me would not be the worst thing in the world. Mitch. I mean, look, he's old enough to make decisions on his own, and if he wants Honey, to move in... I told her that I wouldn't get involved in any of this. You did? Yes. I thought it was between the two of you. Although I did tell her that uh, it was nice that Matthew wanted to spend more time with his father. It seems I've underestimated you again. Oh, thanks. Well, you can certainly make it up to me. Later. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> Let go. Matthew. Uh, hi, I hi. waited across the street until I saw Mom leave. Well, come on in. Come in. Yeah, thanks. Does anybody know where you are? No, look, I, I couldn't tell. You have to take my side on this. You have to. Honey, where Hi. you been? Out. Get some air. Hello, Loretta. Hi. Well, 
Matthew has uh, told us the big news. Yes. He told me, too, after he told everybody else. Well, I think it's just ridiculous. Uh, well, I, 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 I really want to go in and see Sam. Take it easy, Rachel. <clears throat> At least she's on my side. Where'd you go? Does Amanda need something? Does she need food or anything? You're not talking, eh? I don't want to talk. I'm tired of talking. I sound like a... I feel like a broken record. You don't sound like one. Oh, yeah? You want to make a bet? Ask me what's wrong. I'll tell you that Mac is fighting off a takeover bid and Matthew won't tell me why he had to leave. Come Gordy's on. Home. You're not that bad. But why did he have to leave? And why does he want to move out? I don't know, honey. Is it something so bad he can't tell me? Is it drugs? It, it must be something he can't tell you right now. Yeah, but I give him more time. If he moves out over to Mitch's, then he's running away from me. I know how much that must hurt. It does hurt. Why shouldn't it hurt? Because I'm an adult. If there is such a thing, listen. Why don't you just take some time off from them and concentrate on Mac? And ignore the kids? Well, no, you're going to drive yourself crazy, you know. I'm not driving me crazy. The kids are driving me crazy. Rachel, Matthew will grow up to be a man no matter who he lives with. He and Amanda will be just fine. Well, that's all I could want. It will happen. It will be a little bumpy once in a while, but it will happen. Look how good you turned out. I just feel like everything's coming down on me at once. It's a wonderful life. Yeah, thanks. Any time, pal. Dynasty is next. Then find out what's happening on the cul-de-sac. It's Knott's Landing, followed by Dallas. Only on SoapNet. Alexis is the queen of survivors. But can she live through this? What's happened to my face? Give me a mirror. Find out. Dynasty next on SoapNet. Want to bring down your cholesterol number? Try New Minute Made Heartwise. The only orange juice with added cholesterol reducers proven to help lower cholesterol. New Minute Made Heartwise. For a number of good reasons. Are you at risk for DVT, a blood clot in your legs? If illness or surgery has you off your feet, you may be. In most cases, DVT can be prevented. Ask your doctor and call for a free risk awareness kit. This spring, color that fits at Sears. are on sale, so hurry in. Sears, good life, great price. She has a secret. He has a secret. They all have a secret. Now we're blowing the lid off the best body-shaping, calorie-burning secret weapon in America with the million-selling Gazelle and this once-in-a-lifetime special offer. You can burn total body calories, tone total body muscle with virtually no impact. Last year, Tony Little made TV history by offering the Gazelle's 1495 30-day test drive. Call now, and for just $14.95, test drive the Gazelle in your own home. Not for 30 days, but for a full 60 days. But wait, this deal just got even better. Take advantage of this TV offer, and shipping is free. Save almost $35 and get the Gazelle risk-free in your home for a full 60 days. Call now, and your Elite will come with this Power Pistons Resistance Package that adjusts easily for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Over a million happy customers can't be wrong. Once you try the Gazelle, you'll be just as crazy about it as they are. Don't miss out. Discover the secret to getting in shape with the Gazelle Elite. Call and get yours right now. So, uh, listen, why don't I go first? Sure. That's a good okay. idea. Matthew, we know that you're... Upset about something. But, honey, you're creating a little dissension among the people who love you. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Look, I'm not even sure that I understand what's wrong. What's wrong? What's wrong is that everybody's yelling at me. That's what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I, I can't even explain why I want to move in here. It's just... Oh, it's like an exam question. Be able to support your answer with quotes and examples. I... I, I 
He's just like you. He's going over to the window when you ask him a question. Thank you. Look, nobody's trying to grill you. I'm just not sure that I understand, and I'm not sure that you really are trying to tell us what's going on. But I am. That's why I want to move in here with you. Maybe, maybe if I move in here, I can explain everything to you. Maybe if I get Mom and Mac off my back for just a minute, I could explain everything. Okay, maybe. Well, do you think I could move in then? I, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said maybe that's the case. We both want to help you. Yeah. We just can't keep things from your mother. You know that. Look, this is not going to be a, you know, a popularity contest. If you move in here, it's because everybody agrees that that's the best thing to do. Donna, we can talk about this later if you no. want. No. No, I want to hear everything Mary had to say. Okay. Mary said that for a while, uh, we may experience fits and starts. Uh, you may experience something a little more intensely than I experience it, and, and vice versa. Does make sense. A perfect example of that would be, um, well, today, I saw that little boy. Is that right? Yeah. And I understand why it upset you so much. But it didn't upset you? Oh, yeah, it upset me. It upset me a lot, but... It upset me to see him alone. He was such a friendly little guy. He was, um, he was quiet when I saw him. Well, you know what opened the door for us? What? His name is Mikey. Mary said Michael, and he said Mikey. That's his name. Did you see his eyes? No, not not really. They were like yours. I mean, all you had to do was just take one look in his face, and you you could see his eyes like you. Oh, Donna, <laughs> it's okay, honey. That's the only reason I allow you to go away. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I missed you. Mm. I missed you, too. So, are you glad to be back from your boring old trip? Well, actually, it wasn't so boring. No? As a matter of fact, I have a feeling I'm onto something big. Well, that's nice for you. Well, the place looks good. Looks like you did a great job <sighs> on your own. Hey, of course. I did. I mean, what'd you expect? Come back and find the place in ruins? No, but I meant uh, you must be proud of yourself. You must have gotten kind of a thrill out of it. What are you saying? Well, uh... Actually, I thought maybe you'd like to go it alone for a while. What do you think? I mean, it's an idea, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that... It's an idea, all right. Honey, why don't you come home and get some sleep? Oh, I'm too excited to sleep. Amanda, you're pushing too hard. You know, they, they showered Sam and they helped him shave and everything. It gave me time to think. Amanda, I... I think we're gonna be okay. I mean, with Sam's disability payments, and I'll do a little freelancing on the side, I think we'll be all right for a while. Amanda, I told you. I know, I know. I think it's really sweet of you guys to ask us to come and stay at the house, but Sam, well, he's not going to go for it. But what about you? Mom, I am an adult. Mom says there isn't such a thing. What? Nothing. Anyway, I'm sure we're going to be fine. Besides, I get to see Sam full time now. 